Today, I'm going to be playing out the 2023 season for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but for every touchdown that Najee Harris scores, we get to add a 99 overall player to this team. So, I mean, at this point, you guys already know how this goes. At the end of the video, the Steelers should be an absolute super team, but this is what the offense looks like to start off the season. I mean, they're not terrible, but they could definitely use some upgrades, and it's the same story of the defense. I mean, the defense is definitely this team's strong side, but they could still use some improvements. That sounds super disrespectful. I mean, even though the defense isn't perfect, this is definitely a top five defense in the league. I mean, they just absolutely dogged my Ravens at the time of recording this, so I'm not very happy with the Steelers right now. I'm also not very happy with Bateman or Egglore right now. I'm just gonna pretend like we didn't watch that game. But anyways, as you can see, we got to take on the Niners in week one, and I think you guys all remember what happened to the Steelers in week one against the Niners, so I mean, I'd say we are in for a rough go to start things off here. But anyways, I'm just going to hand the ball to Harris to start things off because I feel like it's between him, Johnson, and Pickens for our best players on offense. So I trust him out of anybody else, and he's going to get a pretty good pickup to start the game off. And as you guys have probably already noticed, I mean, as you can see, the Niners did score first, which really isn't surprising. So we're down 7 nothing. As I said, I'm really not expecting to win this game, but as long as Harris can get some touchdowns today, this team will definitely be improving after this game. That's going to be a risky shot shot but Johnson's gonna get there and we're still going for a massive pickup that was a crazy run I don't want to overplay that or anything, but that was a ridiculous play from Johnson right there. I'm going to try and get Harrison for the touchdown now, because he's the one that needs to score if we want to add players to this team. I'm just going to try and go for another run here. As you probably noticed, the Niners brought up a third down. I mean, if we can't get this here, I'm probably just going to go for it on fourth, but that look, we're going to be one yard short. Come on. I was 99% sure that we were actually going to get in there, but I mean, now we're either getting one yard for a touchdown or we're going to get nothing. If we get nothing, thing i'm gonna be so butthurt but i'm praying that this works out oh my god i mean it's no secret that that was obviously not what i was trying to go for on that play but i mean as you can see the way the defense is set up i'm thinking that harris should be gone for a touchdown here that is gonna be a huge play and it's gonna work out so i mean apparently we can't score at the one yard line but we can score when we're at like midfield either way i don't care we're in the end zone so that's a touchdown from Najee harris and we we get to add a 99 overall and that ties the game so i'm gonna come back out this drive and hopefully i mean i want to say put together a game winning drive or anything it depends how we manage the clock but hopefully we can at least tie the game up i really don't think i'm gonna go for a two-point conversion so i mean the goal here is to tie the game up and hopefully we can send it to overtime but i mean against a defense like the niners that is gonna be difficult i mean it's way easier said than done and kenny pickett's accuracy is not the best anyways i mean it's looking Looking like this probably isn't gonna work again like last time but i'm going for that same play if harris can somehow get open that would be amazing i gotta go for that man there's no way that's gonna work two times in a row for another touchdown which is gonna tie the game up i mean that play has been broken so far i mean once harris gets going you're really not catching up to him that was a ridiculous route but as you can see the niners kicked a game winning field goal in overtime so i mean that was a lot closer than it was in real life but still the niners are gonna win in week one anyway Anyways, after that game, obviously, we added two new players to this team because Harris got two touchdowns. I mean, the first one's pretty obvious. We got Patrick Mahomes. I mean, seriously, come on. Who else am I actually going to pick up? And the second one is going to be for the defense. We got Aaron Donald now. So, I mean, this defense is absolutely terrifying. But anyways, as you can see in week two, we got to take on the Cleveland Browns. And I mean, this should be a pretty interesting game. It's going to be fun to put our new additions to this team to the test. I mean, I'm I'm thinking we should be able to win this game because once you add Patrick Mahomes to your team, you're pretty much automatic Super Bowl contenders. That play, it, oh, that should have got blown up, but it looks like we're actually going to get a gain out of that. I mean, that's not my best work. I'm not going to lie. We should have definitely lost five yards off of that play, but we got two. So, I mean, I'm happy with the outcome there. We're going to find Pickens for a first down to keep the drive going. I mean, all honesty, that totally looked like it was a face mask, but apparently it's not going to get called. I'm going to see if we can go for a shot 
spot here though and hopefully somebody can get open that is an absolute dot let's go hear me out i'm not trying to hate on kenny pickett but that throw is one he definitely would not have made so i mean adding patrick mahomes to this team is already paying off after that though i'm gonna try and see if we can find harris in the end zone it is third and inches but i mean i'm pretty confident that we can get a couple inches if this doesn't work out and it looks like harris is dropping it fourth down i have no regrets we had to go for it i'm just gonna go on the run now though obviously and it looks like that's actually gonna work out for a touchdown so we're gonna be in the end zone either way i'm pretty sure that's the first rushing touchdown from harris in this video so far so that is gonna give us the lead first anyways i'm coming back out with 15 seconds left in the third quarter as you can see we're in another close game the defense has been doing pretty good though i mean 18 points isn't bad at the same time though i gotta say i was expecting a little bit more out of the defense now that we have aaron donald but i mean if we can score here that should hopefully put the game away because that'll make it a two score game i mean it all depends on how we manage the clock here though if robinson can get open on this play that is gonna be a huge pickup i'm probably just gonna go for the safe one though and hit pickens or johnson third and one though i mean we still can get a first down off of that play so i'm obviously just gonna go on the run of harris here i mean that is the best move and it looks like we're gonna get it i mean i've ran this play probably like six times already this video but it worked out for a touchdown twice i really want to see if we can get it going again here that i can't go for that i can't go for that as tempting as it is i'm just gonna hit pickens for the easy first down and i mean i'd say after that since we're getting close to the red zone i'm probably just gonna stick to the run game as much as i can here i mean harris is actually gone that juke's not gonna work but we are gonna get the first down so i mean i'm probably just gonna keep running this mesh spot play until we can get to like the five yard line or something because this play never fails me i don't care what you say it is a safe play it literally works every time i mean i'd say that worked out nicely we only need two yards for a touchdown now i am gonna put it in the air here though and hopefully we don't throw an interception or anything but that is look at we dropped it okay there's a reason this guy's a running back and not a wide receiver so i'm just gonna put the ball on the ground again and it looks like this time we're gonna get in for the end zone so that touchdown's gonna give us a two score lead hopefully that will be enough to salt the game away and i mean as you can see our defense did their job so we're gonna take a 30 to 18 win here which is gonna move us to one and one on the season but anyways obviously after that game we get to add two new players to this team and if you're a dolphins fan close your eyes because i just absolutely dismantled your team and ruined your playoff hopes we got tyree kill and on the defense we also got jalen ramsey so i mean we just stole two of the dolphins best players i didn't really want to do that but at the same time that really helps out this team but as you can see we got to take on the raiders in week three who are somehow two and oh that really does not make any sense to me at all but hopefully we can give them their first loss of the season anyways i'm just gonna hand it off to harris and hopefully we can get a decent pickup off the first play here i mean this is our second drive of the game if you're wondering that's why we're down six nothing i mean i gotta get props to the defense because they did get a stop the first drive but after that they could not hold the raiders out but they did stop the field goal on special teams or the pat attempt not the field goal but anyways i'm just gonna go for another run here after that huge pickup from hill i mean it looks like we're somehow gonna escape two defenders so i am happy with that pickup right there i'm gonna run this play for like the 30th time today though and hopefully we can catch this defense off guard looks like that's not gonna happen though so i'm just gonna go to ooh pickens please or johnson that's gonna be a first i always get johnson and pickens numbers mixed up for some reason but anyways we're gonna try and go back to tyreek here somehow we caught that honestly i thought that was gonna be an interception i regretted it the second i threw it but it worked out barely went over his head and now we're gonna get in for the touchdown with harris which means we're gonna tie the game up and i mean if we make the pat attempt that's gonna give us the lead for now at least after that we sim to the fourth quarter though and i was just waiting for the steelers to get the ball back but they never did so the game's over and as you can see we lost by two points to the raiders which i really did not see happening but apparently they are gonna pull off the upset so that moves us to one and two on the season somehow the raiders are undefeated which still is mind-boggling to me but we had to fix the o-line because from that game i learned that they suck so we added jason kelsey i mean we only got to add one player which kind of blows but hopefully we can get more than one touchdown next game anyways we got to take on the texans here in week four i would like to think this would be an easy win but at the same time they absolutely annihilated the steelers last week so this team is one that has been surprising this year anyways we do start with the ball here so i'm gonna 
try and get Harris open for a shot downfield, even though it's looking like he's probably going to be locked up there. So I'm just going to go for Johnson for the easy first. After that, though, I mean, I've been waiting all day to try and go for a shot with Tyreek. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I hope he can get open here. I mean, once he gets past you, there is no catching him. That could have easily been a touchdown, but we'll get out of bounds at the two yard line. So after that, I am really hoping that my boy Harris can punch this in for a touchdown. Our O line still kind of sucks, though. So I'm not getting the best blocks. We are in for the score, though. So that is going to give us the lead first here. And that's going to give us another player to add to this team. Anyways, after that, as you can see, we're back out here in the third quarter. We do still have a one score lead, but hopefully things can work the way I want it to here and we can get back up to a two score lead. That's a decent run right there. I mean, we only got three yards, but that play should have been blown up from the get go. We probably should have lost yardage there. So I'll take it. I'm going to try and go back to Johnson here, though, who is wide open for a first down. I'm really starting to feel the effects of this O-line though, man. Like there's only a certain amount of plays I can run because this defense puts so much pressure on us. Like I have no time to get rid of the ball. So hopefully if this game works the way I want it to, we should be able to fix up the O-line after this. But anyways, we're going to try and go back to Tyreek on this play. And it looks like that's going to work out for a pretty big pickup. So, I mean, this might not be the smartest play in the world, but I am going to put in the air here, even though we're in the red zone. And hopefully Harris can be open that is looking good that's going to be another touchdown so that is two tds on the game from harris and that's going to stretch our lead to a two score lead anyways our defense got an interception we're in the fourth quarter now we have amazing field position so i'm just going to keep it on the ground i don't want to do too much here especially when we're really set up from the get-go so as long as we don't screw this up we should be in for another touchdown which would push our lead to three scores which i'd like to think would put the game away I mean, it seems like nothing has been a sure thing with this team so far, though. Last time I ran this play, it gave us a touchdown. So I'm going to go back to it here. It looks like they're kind of ready for this, but we're going to find Harris and he's going to hold on to it through to contact, which is something he hasn't been able to do today. But surprisingly, he did not drop the ball there. So that's another TD, three on the day now. And as you can see, it was enough to win. We actually blew the Texans out. So, I mean, we kind of pulled an Uno reverse on what they did to us in real life. Anyways, Harris finished with three touchdowns that game so we got three more players i said i was gonna fix up the o-line so we went ahead and picked up smith martin and williams so i mean as you can see this o-line is actually crazy right now i mean we clearly have the best o-line in the league there is no question about that but now we gotta take on the ravens in week five every time the ravens and steelers play it seems like it's a one score difference so this should be another good game i mean no surprise the ravens scored first so we're down seven nothing last time i ran this play of Tyreek Hill though good things happen so I'm gonna try and see if we can do the same thing here that oh dude he didn't throw he didn't throw that's not what I wanted to happen we're gonna catch it anyways and we are gone I don't know how we escaped there but we are set up perfectly from the get-go I thought that play was gonna be over from the beginning because I'd accidentally double tapped x so he didn't throw the ball but now we're at the one yard line and it looks like we're gonna get in for the touchdown so just like that two plays into the game and we got the lead and I gotta say I really like what I see now the O-line there they actually block for once which is what I'd expect out of the O-line we have now after that though we're back out in the second quarter the Ravens are keeping things close it's 14 to 10 right now I'm gonna try and go back to Najee Harris here and it looks like we're barely gonna hold on to that I mean I honestly thought that play was gonna be under review but apparently we got the feed in which I really don't know how we did that but I'll take it I'm gonna go back in the air this time though and hit Johnson who is gonna give us another first down so six yards to go and we're in the end zone i usually would just try and put the ball in the air here but since we have a good o-line that i can actually trust now i'm gonna run the ball but we're gonna get blown up by patrick queen of course it's the one guy that's not a 90 something overall that's that's the problem here because that's where patrick queen snuck through we're gonna put in the air this time though and it looks like we're gonna find harris in the end zone so third time's the charm we're gonna get the touchdown off the third down conversion so that's gonna make it a two score game once again and hopefully we can keep things going because i'd like to win this game and as you can see we got the ball in the fourth quarter and we scored so i mean as long as we don't give the ball up here which we won't we're gonna take the
the win, which is going to move us to three and one on the season, or it's going to move us to three and two on the season. I forgot we're in week five now, but anyways, Najee Harris finished that game with two touchdowns. So we get to add two more players to this team. As you can see, we went ahead and picked up AJ Brown and we also picked up Roquan Smith. So, I mean, this defense is absolutely stacked to the max. They're not getting much better than this. And I mean, same story with the offense. We obviously have the best team in the league at this point. You're probably wondering why I didn't get Justin Jefferson. We already have Hill, and I feel like Brown is a better fit for the Steelers. But after that, I'd say our job here is done. I mean, 95 overall offense and a 91 overall defense. It does not get much better than that. So we're going to go ahead and sim to the playoffs. If we don't make it, that's an absolute crime. And as you can see, the Steelers finished off the season going 14 and 3 to win the division. And that record is also going to give us the number one seed in the playoffs. So, I mean, as expected, this team went on an absolute tear after all the upgrades grades but we gotta take on the dolphins in the divisional round i mean this is a total mismatch they don't even have tyree kill and jalen ramsey so we should blow them out and as you can see we got the win so now we play the bills for a trip to the super bowl and the bills are gonna get absolutely annihilated so now we play the dallas cowboys in the super bowl i'm just gonna start off with a run here to get the game going as you can see we held the cowboys to a field goal they did score first but i mean i would much rather have them put three points up than seven i'm gonna go for another run here though we only only got three yards last time but the way the defense is set up i'm hoping we can get a first never mind i mean after that i'd say my best option is probably just run my safe play and hope that tyree kill can get over or aj brown bro this guy's number 84 everyone's numbers are messed up it is really throwing me off but we're gonna find brown for the first and after that i'm gonna try and go downfield to tyreek again i mean i think i'm like two for four on this play so far so there's like a 50 percent chance that this works i'm going for it man that might get shut down we're gonna hold on to it. Tyreek Hill and Patrick Mahomes might be one of the best duos of all time. I mean, say what you want about Justin Jefferson. I'm not hating on him, but I think Tyreek is better. Gotta be honest with you, but Harris is in for the touchdown, so that's gonna tie the game up, or that's gonna give us the lead. I forgot. They got a field goal, and as you can see, we're back out in the second quarter. We're still up 7-3, to three, but I mean, this field position is just too good to ignore, so I gotta try and go for something here, and it looks like we're gonna find Brown. We're not gonna get pushed in though we're one yard short so with this o-line that is 10 times more improved from what we had at the start of the season i'm thinking we should be able to just run this in and that is exactly what's gonna happen so that is the second td on the game for Najee harris which is gonna push this to a two score lead and as you can see we're back in the fourth quarter and the cowboys are getting absolutely slaughtered right now which is exactly what i expected to happen i mean this team was just too good to lose so we're gonna take the dub i mean to be honest the way madden treats to Cowboys it really wouldn't have surprised me if they won this game but in the end it looks like this team is gonna get the Super Bowl they deserved so Patrick Mahomes and the Steelers are gonna be hoisting the Lombardi trophy to end off this video but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below I'll try to get to as many of them as I can and while you're down there comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out